why narcissists hate the real you. If you're in a relationship with a narcissist, there's one main theme that's always universal, and that's the constant need for you to change who you are, what you think, how you act, and what you believe in. If you're going through something like this right now, stick around for the next few minutes because I'm going to talk about why narcissists need you to change into what they want you to be. Because the truth is, they hate the real you. When your relationship began, I'm sure you can look back and find all sorts of great things that took place. How the narcissist made you feel special, how they showered you with all this love and affection. Well, guess what, guys? They did all those great things for one purpose, and that was to trap you. They need to do this because they need to lower your guard, chop down your boundaries, and get you to a point of complete vulnerability. The time it takes them to do this will vary depending on the person. Some people cave almost immediately while others might be slightly stronger and resist the narcissist games for a longer period of time. But the end result is always the same. It always ends up where you find yourself wondering what the hell happened here. You're probably wondering what happened to that great loving person you met. Where'd that person go? Your thoughts become consumed with trying to figure out how you can get that person back. It's super important to understand this. That person, they're not real. The narcissist just made up that character, knowing you would fall in love with someone like that. It's the mask, guys. It's all just a bunch of fake bullshit. So why do they do that? Why do they create that fake character? They do that because they see you as a great source of supply. They see so many awesome things about you, and they have to have you. But why do they have to deceive you to get it? I'll tell you why. Because they're miserable people. They're unhappy. They're resentful. They're vindictive. And they think they're entitled to do whatever they need to do to get whatever they want. Do you think if they would have entered your life exposing all these negative things showing you what they really are right out of the gate, you would have given them two seconds of your time? The answer to that question better be no. So now here you are. You're in a state of confusion because you've been trying your best to make the narcissist happy, but nothing seems to work. You just keep getting deeper and deeper into their world, doing everything they want, meeting all their needs, all while being abused with their projection, gaslighting, and shaming. Here's the hard truth, guys. Narcissists hate the real you. And the more you try to be yourself, the more you try to reason with them, the more you resist to their wants and needs, the worse things will get. Pay close attention to what's going on here. They're trying to change who you are into what they want you to be. Think about it. If they really loved you for who you are, why would they try and change you? I mean, you were the perfect person for them when you met, right? It just doesn't make any sense. Things aren't adding up here, are they? You need to really take this question seriously, guys, because this is the root cause of why relationships with narcissists never work out. When they start trying to change who you are, it's because they don't really like who you are. They only like what you have to offer them. And once they've sucked all the life out of you, once they've torn you down to shreds, they'll go find another source, a new and fresh source to start the process with all over again. The sad part about all this is the fact that we spend all our energy trying to save something that was never really there in the first place. We convince ourselves that this is a real relationship, but trust me, it's not. It's all been just an illusion they created to get what they needed. 
Instead of seeing everything for what it really is and using logic to understand the real truth, we let our emotions control our thoughts. And that's a very dangerous road to go down because the road eventually ends every time. Trust me guys, when you can put your emotions on the shelf and start using that logic instead, you'll feel this huge weight start to fall off your shoulders because you'll know and see the real truth. And that truth is, the narcissist never really liked you in the first place. It was all just an act to get something they wanted. And I'm gonna say this again because it's so important that you get this. If the narcissist truly loves you for who you are, they wouldn't be trying to change you. But here they are, doing just that. When things don't make sense, when you feel like this person is trying to change who you are, you should really consider reflecting back on who you were when you entered this relationship and start getting yourself back to that frame of mind. Start facing the fact that the narcissist never really liked you from the start. They only liked what you had to offer to them and what they could take from you. Think about this for a second. Other than maybe that first few months, what's so great about them now? Are they adding any value to your life or are they just sucking more life out of you? This is all some serious shit to think about, guys. When you're in any sort of relationship where it's completely one-sided, when you're giving your all and getting nothing in return, seriously, what's the point? Why are you still thinking that this person is going to somehow change for the better? Is it because they were so awesome in the beginning and you just can't get that out of your mind? If you're still stuck on that path, it's time to take a detour because I'll promise you this, that path will wind up being a dead end. Every road you take with a narcissist always winds up at a dead end. So please do yourself a huge favor today and accept that the narcissist hates the real you and all they're doing is draining you of your happiness, your contentment, your self-worth, and your relationships with other people just to get the satisfaction of knowing that they've just duped another victim. Break your ties with this person. Remember what I've talked about here today and use this knowledge to protect yourself in the future because I'll promise you this, it won't be the last narcissist you'll ever encounter in your life. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, keep looking for those signs Stay alert, be vigilant, be strong, be brave, and go live your best life today.